for a minute. Welcome to German and Venice Nightcrawler Edition. It's Thursday night. It's about 9, 9.30ish. And uh, I'm about to go to downtown Los Angeles. And I'm going to meet one of those streamers called Nightcrawlers, Scott Lane. He's been doing it for years. And sometimes you think face put people together. I don't know if it was a coincidence or not. You know that I'm hanging out in downtown Los Angeles sometimes lately more often because they have those high rise buildings with the graffiti down there. And there was a call from the police that there was a turf war going on between those vendors. They sell those bacon red hot, uh, bacon wrapped hot dogs. And Scott happened to be there and filming everything. He was on the scene before me. I just happened to drive by and I said, oh, what's going on? So I'm a little bit out there filming too. And he recognized me. He said, hey, you're the German in Venice. I'm watching your channel. And if you ever want, I can take you on a ride along with me and you can film what I do for a living. I said, that would be awesome because uh, I've seen stuff like this where people go out professionally at night. His car has all those scanners right here. He has like the special lights, light outside, computer and who knows what else he has in his car. So <clears throat> I said, yeah, for sure I want to do it. And I'm a little nervous right now because I don't know what the night brings. It could be a really long night. Depends on what's going on in Los Angeles. I thought maybe Saturday is going to be more happening, but duh, it's Los Angeles. There's always something happening. We don't really know what's happening because while he's out doing his job, you are sleeping. His job is dangerous too, you know. He has to be first on the scene. He has to drive fast. He has to make sure to read the card or, you know, to be there the first person because the competition is there too. And whoever got the shot makes the money. That's how life works. And I'm not doing this video to show bad things. Yes, there could be some bad things, but I just want to show you I think it's really interesting uh, to see somebody who makes a living doing this job. And I'm just driving along and uh, we'll see what's going to happen. All right. L.A., we are coming. Let's go to downtown right now. And we'll see what the night brings. You never know. It's Los Angeles. There's beautiful downtown on the left. It's about 9.45 p.m. And look how busy the freeway still is. Well, like always, the GIV is an hour early. I'm right here in front of the crypto arena again, but I don't mind waiting because this is my favorite spot right now here in downtown Los Angeles. We'll see if anything changed here. Uh, they check in again. Is somebody in there or not? And they got some good light up there. Look at all the SUVs and Uber waiting here for the people to come out. You guys all know what that is. Bacon wrapped hot dogs. They can't be missing. Any event here in, in downtown. That's right. And a lot of Lakers merchandise, of course. There is something new I've never seen here. Patties. Patty wagon. Check us out. That's right. Check those guys out when you come down here. Why are they shining up there? I don't think anybody can get through because they put the big fence up. You see how small that person is? That's like 11 feet or 12 feet fence. All the way around. They still have police here. 
Wow, look how it looks with the clouds in the background. Look how nice of a gate they put out here. In front of it, they have a rolling gate. You can push it to the left and to the right. So many security guards in there now. They set up a headquarter in there. This is super sturdy here. <coughs> when you hear a coughing, <coughs> you gotta cough too. There's always a party going on when the Lakers are playing here. Look at this. Lots of people here. He's selling those for $5. How much profit can you make if I sell it for five bucks? I have to get one. He says $5. Cheaper than a hot dog, man. You're right, man. This, this is the one I got here with the statue. $5. Cheaper than a hot dog. Right there. That's actually pretty smart. Everybody else is selling it for 10 Maybe he sells more for 5 He's hustling, but maybe he makes more money. Of course, everybody's taking picture of Kobe. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Everybody loves the hot dogs. Easy, easy. Nobody's gonna take it away from you. There's a whole store out here. Are you kidding me? There he is again, Michael Jordan. Two balls. What? I bet Michael Jordan can't even do that. I believe that's him right here. He's even on time. Hey, I appreciate it, man. man. How you doing? You all met him before, Scott Lane. He got the channel. This is actually where we met the last time. And uh, thanks for inviting me to go for a ride, man. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. I am going to set up. Uh, we're going to go live for about probably 30, 40 minutes. I already have a story for us to go to. We're going to head over there. Uh, unfortunately, it is a fatality. Um, but in, in order for me to have a good night, somebody has to have a bad night so please don't please don't judge me if i get happy that bad things happen um but i'm gonna uh, set up a live and come on in all right you are uh you are stuck in here once you're in here all right you're, you're stuck in here you uh you're at the mercy of me but there is room here there you go sir sitting in the bag all right I work with a team. I'm with uh, On Scene TV or OS TV. And right now, one of our photographers is already at that story. So I don't have to hurry up and get there and try to record it and send it to the news. I'm basically going there for, uh, for us. So we will head over there in just a minute. Let me. I actually thought because Thursday is going to be a slow day, I thought the weekends are way busier, but it can happen any day, right? Uh, any day, man. Any day. News is news. News doesn't know. Uh, news doesn't know. News does not know. Man, I'm pretty excited. Or care. News doesn't <laughs> care, man. Hopefully we can get something that uh, the audience will be able to watch on uh, the morning news. That All would right. be great. That would be great. It's always fun to go to a story, you know, with, with uh, you know, a camera, and then the audience sees that story on TV. So even if it is competition, it's still, it's still fun to watch like that. All right. It actually feels like I'm in a cop car right now and my adrenaline is pumping i don't know why but uh it's because the the scanner probably but uh we'll see what the night uh brings all right my question is also how do you know where to go right now when they say the street name do you actually know the city that well that you just know where to go i do know the city that well yes i do have maps um back when i first started uh the maps were in my lap it was a book map the thomas guy thomas guy yeah thomas guy page 734 735 is where i started my career um but i also started during the day i was a daytime uh i was a daytime stringer and i started in the year 2000 i started in the year 2000 20, almost almost 24 years ago my anniversary is april 4th 2000 all right yes 
Yeah. So I do know where it is I'm going when it comes to it. Now, every once in a while, there'll be a street or two that I'll put in. But for the most part, I uh, I know where I'm going. Like right now, there's a call. When it came out, I didn't need to look it up on a map to see where it was. I knew uh, what it was. See, at one time, I actually downloaded like a scanner or radio, like you call it. The scanner app? But I had, yeah, I have problems to understand what they say because they speak so fast and sometimes it's like codes, you know, so. Yeah, it's, uh, it's something, you, it's an acquired listen. You know, it takes a while to, uh, to, to, to listen up. And how many nights a week are you out? You know, that, that varies. That varies. Sometimes it's seven nights a week. Sometimes it's four nights a week. It is, uh, it is freelance. Um, you know, like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Like I said, uh, it does vary from uh, night to night. Um, I do have a family nowadays. When I was first out, I could just come and go as I please. Now I kind of have to go around uh, around the schedule of the misses and the schedule of uh, Junior. All right. But, you know, it could be seven nights a week, but I could also come out at midnight and go in at three. Or I can come in, or I can go out at uh, 8 p.m. and come in at, you know, three. It, it all depends. Or go out at midnight and come in at 6 a.m. It, it all varies, but it is mostly uh, a nighttime thing. It's mostly lucrative at night. There is dollars to be made during the day, but it's a uh, uh, it's a nighttime industry. 415 man with a gun. 415 means disturbance. So maybe we'll get a pursuit, man. That'll be fun. Maybe we'll get a pursuit. The video you were in, it got over 120,000 views and a lot of people actually knew you, you know. They said, oh, we know Scott, we've been watching him. I did not know you before, so I'm, All good. I'm glad I met you. I'm not mad at you. I won't hold it against you. <laughs> but uh, hopefully you're all going to subscribe to his channel. It's going to help him out. It's going to help me out here, you know, so we make things happen in here. Yes, I like it. I like it. It's the, the, the power of the people. That's what's really cool about this, man. It's the power of the people. Does the police ever give you a hard time when you film at the scene? Yes and no. Um, so by now they know who we are, but and I've even been around long enough they know who I am. But at the same time, there there are times where it's weird being an adult getting yelled at by you know other adults. Get back! You can't be here. Do this. And the only time that I will fight back is if I one if I'm in a you know a bad mood. But for the most part, I only fight back if I need that shot. If I need that shot, I, I'll hold my ground and, and grab my shot. But if I don't need my shot, I'll move. I'll listen. Even if what their, their command is stupid, I'll still move. They have a hard job to do. And I'm just adding to their job. But I also have a job to do. And one of the things that I like to say is if, if they do say something stupid or they tell me to do something that doesn't really make sense, and I'm like, hey, man, I don't go to your job and tell you what to do. <laughs> Why are you telling me what to do? I know what to do. And now some of these people, you know, and when I say these people, I mean the police, the sheriffs. These are just kids, you know, and it's weird being yelled at by a kid, but that kid does have a badge and a gun, and most important, that kid has handcuffs, and yep. handcuffs suck. <laughs> handcuffs suck. I've had a few handcuffed situations over my years, but that's for another stream. <laughs> Well, when I film Venice Beach, the homeless encampments, or if I film other stuff, a lot of people get mad at me. They say, how can you film something like this when the person is, is at their lowest, you know? But also a lot of people got help because of my videos, I believe, you know, because people see the situation. I had a few people that got housing because of the videos I showed, so... That's awesome. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing, you know? Yeah, one of the viewers here asked me to ask you about Venice Daisy. Yeah, Venice Daisy, that's a good question. Also, my last video, I posted her, and a lot of people like her, and a lot of people don't like her, you know? So they say, oh, she's mentally ill, don't show her. But the day I was just filming, and she's always there, so when she sees the camera, he runs in front of the camera. I met her so many times, and to me, when you talk to her without the camera, she's pretty normal, so for me, it's hard to judge if she's mentally ill or not. To, for me, she's not really, I think she's acting a little bit, so I can't really, I don't know exactly, so I don't want to say anything wrong. You know, I'm not a psychologist or something like this. I got you. Oftentimes, I go somewhere and people ask me for credential. Where's your uh, press pass? 
there is really no press pass, right? Is everybody who has a phone is news, or how does that work? Okay, so that, that that's a hard one for me. You know, everybody that has phone and news, that's not necessarily true. Um, I, I don't really, I don't like that statement because okay. everybody has a camera now. You yeah. know, so it's not everybody a camera news. It's you somewhere. I mean, yes and no, and I believe it's in the Supreme Court right now finding out those answers. Like I think it's, or, or I believe an answer has been resolved. Somebody on here, no. Did, did it go into Congress or Supreme Court? It went into something that's smarter than I about that law and rules about every camera is media. But what I can say is when it comes to credentials, I have credentials, they're in my pocket. They've okay. been in my pocket for years. Okay. So when it comes to stuff that I do, credentials are for the designated area away from the public. So if the police officer, officer that says, hey, where's your credentials? You, you, you don't need credentials if you're where the public stands. Yeah, the only reason you need credentials is to go into that court building, to go in for that press conference, or if they're having a press conference on the other side of the yellow tape and only media is invited. But if they're having a press conference on this side of the yellow tape in public view, you can go there. You can go anywhere up to that yellow tape. Okay. When the yellow tape is where you stop and where I stop. Now, my credentials will allow me to go on the other side of the tape. But I also watch a lot of First Amendment rights okay, videos. Okay, so, so about, uh, about that. Um, back when I first started, the police really didn't like stringers. That's what I do. I'm a stringer. The police really didn't like stringers, didn't really give us much respect because we weren't broadcast media. We weren't mainstream media. But because of the First Amendment auditors, they give us stringers a good name. So now police officers don't like them and they respect us. And one of the ways that I set myself apart from an auditor and a stringer or an auditor and a member of the press is I tell the officer, the deputy, the fireman, I'm here for the story, not for you. The auditors are there for them. Yeah. They're not there for the story. They use the story to get to where the police are and where the police have to stay and where the police can't move. But that's what separates me from them and that's how I explain to the authorities the difference. I'll, I might say it right now. I'll be like, hey guys, I'm here for the story, not for you. And they'll know, okay, he's media. Plus, I got that big old thing on my back that says, you know, uh, who I'm with and things like that. So they know, plus the size of the camera. Okay. You know, so we'll, uh, we are rolling up to our scene right now. Uh, we'll find a place to park and we will uh, figure it out. All right. The story we're going to is right up here. I don't know if that scene is related to it, but it is going to be a vehicle versus pedestrian fatality. LAPD has asked for a canopy, so you're not going to see anything that you're, you know, that your audience doesn't. Well, some of your audience wants to see it, but we're not going to see anything that you shouldn't see. There's the canopy right there. We'll find a nice place to park, and we'll be able to walk around the scene. And this is something for you that's newsworthy. This that is definitely newsworthy, especially if it is a vehicle versus pedestrian hit and run if it's a hit and run that's a news story if it's if the car stayed it's not news it's content news now there's a difference between what i've learned over the past 25 years rolling around with cameras doing news there is uh many ways to make dollars make views many ways to cover a scene now it's not just get the big camera shoot it send it I'm live, uh, it's content, there's content news, there's breaking news, there's streaming news, there's okay. all kinds of different news these days. Right now, my, uh, one, of, one, one, of our, uh, one of my teammates is already here for the breaking news aspect of it. Okay. You and I are here for the content news aspect of it. Let's go check it out. All right. We'll stay here for as long as uh, So I'm not sure how I'm going to edit this. It's going to be a longer video than I thought, but I think this is really interesting to see how all this works, you know? So I got goosebumps right now. I don't know why, but wow. So I have my, uh, my competitor and my teammate over there. Let's go say hi to him. Okay. So from how I understand and how the tent is up there, probably somebody tried to cross the street and a car came and hit it. So this is uh, his colleague and you have a YouTube channel as well, right? Yeah, my YouTube is uh, OSTV405. All right. 
We're uh, Thank we go you. live too with uh, with Scott out here, so run around and stuff and go live and show everybody what's going on. So. All right, thank you. And we got another YouTuber here. What's up, guys? Hey, what is your channel? Uh, AXN News. LA, AXN. AXN News LA. All right. And uh, Alien Alphabet on YouTube. Two channels. All right. And he's also here reporting. And this is just a regular Thursday here. It's always hard to believe that somebody just lost their life here. And we don't really know what happened if the driver was drunk or not, or maybe he walked over a red light. I don't really know the story, but it's always really sad to see that somebody lost their life or something that should have happened. Do they actually know, was it drunk driving? Was it don't somebody? Don't that yet unless they actually have the driver somewhere around. But I believe it's going to be a vehicle versus ped hit and run. Okay. Um, and it's obviously a fatality. So this uh -huh. is definitely going to be news in the morning, whether it's from uh, on scene TV or whether it's from RMG News who just walked away or whether it's from, uh, we'll call it the other guys. Okay. Uh, so this most likely will be on TV, just depends on by who. And uh, if it's on TV, by, if it's on TV, regardless, I'll send you the link so you can, you can see it. All right. Thank you. So he's actually rushing to another story. He's trying to make it as fast as he can. He's trying to make it to uh, to this this right here. He's uh, so you'll see where because uh, we're with each other, so you can see where uh, where we are. And he's trying to go there now. It's a structure fire. Structure fire. And how come you're not going there right now? Because he's going. Love is for everybody. Martin Luther King. And we are on Crenshaw Boulevard. Crenshaw and Homeland Drive. So he just asked me a question. Is this a good or a bad neighborhood? My response is, it's a neighborhood. Because it's not for me to say. This is your this is your neighborhood. You can say. I lived in Baldwin Hills since 2008. I think Baldwin Hills is an awesome neighborhood. <laughs> like everywhere else, we're going through like the gentrification and things like that. So it's changing. We're welcoming different nationalities in the neighborhood, which is cool. But at the same time, this is a wonderful neighborhood. Of course, like everywhere else, we got bad apples. However, this is one of the best neighborhoods in Los Angeles, if you ask me. And I lived all over. I lived in Dubai. I, I'm from Philly. Yeah. Baldwin Hills, this is one of the best areas in LA. I'm from Germany, and when you hear Crenshaw Boulevard, it's all hip hop, you know, it's well, like Nipsey Hussle, th that's what the Snoop Dogg. However, this area is one of the best. Areas. You got worse areas in LA than this. Well, I've never been here, actually. I don't really know where I'm right now. Else. You can go in Beverly Hills right now and see the same shit. No, you're this, right. This is California. No, you're right. You're Take right. Care. It can happen anywhere. You're right. Also, a lot of my people that watch my channel. They were so excited for me to be driving around with you. So they're looking forward to see this video, you know? That's awesome. That's awesome. That is awesome. I like making people happy. We are en route to our next story. When you posted the video that I showed up on, I definitely felt the wave of people that saw your video that came over to me. Wow. For sure. See, I'm just holding my camera. I never really see who's watching, you know, so I'm always surprised like today a few people came up to me. I would never guess they're watching my videos, you know, so you never know who's watching. It's awesome. It's yeah. Awesome. And uh, sometimes it opens doors for you. You know, you never imagine that could happen. Yep, like you said, man, one video can, uh, can change can change things. Yeah. It's, it's really weird. Just like one story. In my world, one story can change things. Germans here. Yeah. What party time? Party time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Wee, party wee, time. Wee, 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 wee. Wow. There's three pursuits. There's the everywhere guy. The guy that just goes everywhere. There's no control of where he goes. Uh -huh. There's the circle guy. He circles the area. And then there's the freeway guy. The freeway guy will just go freeway to freeway to freeway to freeway until he goes to his area where he might be the circle guy. Um, the one that makes me the most mad is the everywhere guy. It makes me so mad. But the fun thing about a pursuit is you are trying to outsmart a bad guy. Okay. And sometimes the bad guy outsmarts you. But it's the most fun. It's the most frustrating. It's the worst thing for your car. It's the worst thing for your... Uh, 
your safety. And for the most part, if the helicopter's overhead, they don't need you. You know, so that's where it becomes content or streaming news as opposed to breaking news. All right, let's get ourselves to Rossmore, which is fine. If, if I'm having a bad day, all I have to do is sit in this car and listen to people having a better day than me. Yep, that's right. And I know that wasn't proper English, but you know what I mean. You know, they're already the, setting up for the Oscars here, but I've been there like four years in a row. I always got a piece of the red carpet, so I don't know if I'm going to go this year again. Nice, nice. Hopefully one year uh, somebody's going to invite me to be inside. That, that's my big dream too, you know. Heck yeah, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> and you never know, you know. That's awesome, man. You never know who's watching, who can get you a ticket, and so we'll see. The requesting your response to her unit. You have to dial 503 for entry. 17, 12 von 24, bitte komme. Famous Rainbow Bar and Grill in the Rock Sea. Um, we're too far from it. I lied. We're not going to go to it. Delhi. There was a flooding on Sautel. We just passed Sautel. Uh huh. But it's over Sautel in the 405. It's not where uh, where I wanted to be. But um, now let me show you this since I am pulled over. You remember the fire, right? Yeah, I remember. remember the fire, right. yeah. So I'm covering the fire. Jason is covering it over here. And this is the way up to the freeway. There's only one way up to that freeway, man. And this is the off ramp right there. So I went and I covered my face. And when I went and covered my face, I mean, you can see I was never near the flames. It was the radiant heat. I uh -huh. covered my face and I mean, it just now healed. It finally just now healed. That was November 7th, November 10th. Yeah. It just now healed. And what's funny is how ironic is I was, sh I got burned for TV news. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It just, I, I burned it for TV news, but it was worth it. The way I look at it is it was worth it. Cool. Yeah. It was worth it to get these. This is a historical fire. A historical fire. Oh yeah, and there was a fight up there. <laughs> and how come they let you walk up there? Um, because they're too busy fighting the fire. Okay. You know, they're not worried about me. We are on our way to a traffic collision, TC. Third and Crescent Heights, we're not too far from it. There's nothing special about the crash, except we're near it. So let's go lay some eyes on it. All right. Oh, it's on the sidewalk and it is into a... Uh, we're not gonna call that news news, but it's worth... Oh, we got another one over there. Wow, two cars involved. This one ran into the building and another one. Driver's still in there. Driver is still in there. So the driver is still in that car. This one ran right into the building. Wow. Ambulance coming right now. I don't really want to point the camera inside the car here. You heard the boom? Yeah. And there's God filming. Second ambulance arriving. And I also don't want to go across the street what Scott is doing, but... You gotta get the news. So that dude's pretty dazed and confused. He don't know if he uh, how he got into the passenger seat. He's like, how did I get from here? I was driving, so I don't know if he's under the influence. Like, check him out. He's still trying to explain to it. He doesn't know exactly where he is or how he got to where he got. Okay, so he's not injured. I was worried that he was all injured, but it looks like he's doing all right, but he doesn't know what's going on. And per the, uh, the woman over there, the witness, um, he ran the red light. He ran the red light. 
and we don't know if he's under the influence or not. They might give him a test. They might even transport him. But uh, the fire department is making sure he's not injured. Once he's not injured, then LAPD will take over and find out if he's uh, drunk or not. And then, does it look like they? It looks like they might transport one person from over there. I can already see the comments. How come you? post something like this somebody had an accident you don't want to film a lot of people give me a hard time when I post stuff like this so it's new for me but I'm doing this because I want to show what kind of job he has what he does for a living that's what he does and I'm just following him around and I want to show you what it's like to be a streamer this is real life news man new news happens real life you, you, as long as you didn't cause it and you're not a part of it you're just recording it. Yeah, but you know, some people say you repost something or you post something which is not cool. So I don't know. Sometimes I feel bad to do stuff like this, but I'm just trying to show what's going on. You, you, what you're going through, I go through, I went through the very first time that I went to a deputy involved shooting. So I went to an officer down, a deputy down. There was a an LA County Sheriff on the ground with a gunshot wound. And what do I what do I do? I have a job to do. So I zoom in on the guy and I was like, oh my gosh, he has a family. So I zoom out and I'm like, I have a job to do. So I zoom in. Oh my gosh, he has a family. So I zoom out. So you're constantly having a battle in your head of what's what, what's right and what's wrong. But you're just recording reality, chasing reality. You're just basically showing what happened. It's not in your control whether you whether it happened or not. You're just recording it, documenting it. That's what I'm saying too. I always say, don't shoot the messenger. That's what I always say, you know, and people don't understand. They say, well, get another job then, you know, but. This, this is the job we have, man. This is the job we have. All right, let's go to the next location. 41st and Compton, there is a ambulance shooting. Two victims down, one victim shot in the leg, one victim shot in the head. He is conscious and breathing. Wow. So now we're going to listen to them talk about it. And then the fire department will be... The fire department has already been dispatched. 41st from Compton and Ascot Block. So they're going to start blocking streets. Okay. But we don't need to rush there because Jason's already on his way there. All right. 13993 is close enough perimeter. Correction, traffic yeah. blocks on 41st. And now that he's there, that also means competition is going there. But that means if something else happens, we have it covered without okay. the competition. Okay, we're going on the freeway now. What, what are we going to go to? We're on our way to a crash on the southbound side of the 101 over in Hollywood at the Highland or Barham exit. It says six to vehicle, six to seven vehicle crash. So that's gonna be pretty visual. This is Highland Avenue, Hollywood Bowl, one mile. This is the entrance to the Universal Studios. So we got one car here. The whole freeway is blocked, who knows how long. And uh, let's go check it out. I mean, it's unbelievable how good he knows the area. And then he says, oh, we're gonna drive here. We can see the whole freeway. Wow. Locked up the freeway. Scott just said that uh, it looks like they used the fire extinguisher to take the fire out. Wow, just imagine somebody would be sitting in the back right here. It was totally crashed. The car is totally smashed, the passenger is getting out. The thing is, we drive in LA on the freeway all the time and we think nothing is gonna happen. It can happen anytime, anywhere. And those guys all have to wait. 
not sure if he was the driver and moved over to the other seat. This is the driver here, so he's okay too. Wow, when you see a car like this, you thought you would not make it alive out of that car. These guys are really, really lucky. This one is totally crashed too. The tow truck drivers are here already, but they have to figure out a way how to get down there. Not too easy. Oh, he's gonna push it off the street. Oh, the brakes on, it won't move. We'll get the brakes off. There's still somebody in there. What? Oh, it's an officer. Wow, those guys are in the bag. They're going crazy right now. Not that I say I would know better, but I would push it from the front so it pushes it this way. Uh, who am I to know? Live from the scene. Well, the tow truck made it down here. It's gonna be easy to pull them on the flatbed. So here's something I wanna say. I kinda of feel really excited to do this, but I feel bad that I feel excited. I don't know if you can get it or not, but that's how I feel. This job will make you go through all your emotions, happiness, anger, excitement. Um, your heart pumps and then you get mad and then you get happy, then you get excited, then you get frustrated. But all the emotions, all the emojis, you will go through all the emojis. Look at this, now I know why he knows the area so good. He got the whole area tattooed on his arm. Yeah, we're right here right now. This is where we are right now. We're right here. <laughs> what makes you put that on your arm right there? So I never get lost. Nice. So I never get lost. And it looks like they have uh, somebody here. Looks like difficulty breathing. Roger. That's what that looks like. Looks like difficulty breathing. Yeah, it's not that easy. Yeah, definitely difficulty breathing. There's the mobile gas station. Here's where our crash was ten minutes ago. Gone. Everything is clear. Everything's gone. Everything's gone. And we are on our way to a stabbing at Sunset in Fairfax. Sunset and Fairfax, a yep. stabbing, all right. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go check that out. Or maybe the pursuit, depends, I wanna hear some more, but there's already two people on the pursuit, and the pursuit's way south of us, so we may as well go check out the stabbing. Highway Boulevard. So there was, so there was no stabbing, we're gonna go to different places. We're gonna go to a crash on Hollywood Boulevard. We're gonna get there before, uh, before anybody else. We'll be the first ones there. Now, we don't know what kind of crash it is yet, but we're about to find out. I mean, excuse me shaking so much, but there that's it how is. it is. See? Crash is right here, we're the first ones. We are the first ones. No police here already, Not nobody. I can't believe he's faster than the police, than anybody. Nobody here yet, so. I don't know what happened here. Was that a parked car? All right. So, it's a single vehicle crash. She crashed into that parked car and then she put the club on her car. Oh, wow. I think she might be a yeah. little, little, little something, something. Because why would you put the club on your car after you crashed? <laughs> I don't know. That's a little, that's a little, that's a little weird. But uh, the fire department is on the way and uh, LAPD is on the way too. This is not a news story, but it is a content story. Yep. It's a streaming story. And the amazing thing is that you here before anybody else. Yeah, we, we, were, we were here quick. We were here quick. 
So for safety reasons, he put on the, what do you call it, bells and bells whistles? And whistles. I, call, I call it bells and whistles. A lot of stringers like to, they're more into this job because of the bells and whistles, not so much because of, you know, I just wanted to be a part of television. Other people like having the cool car, the lights, the this, the that. I just, you know, whatever. And I know I'm only doing this for show for you and stuff right now. And then like right here, cars are coming flying. But also safety reasons, you know, I'm gonna make sure she's safe. Yeah, we're gonna wait a little bit, yeah, but it's not really newsworthy, he said. So it's definitely not newsworthy. But definitely not newsworthy. All right. So so far tonight, uh, on scene has fed a uh, at least two people shot. The fatal crash. Uh, robbery at a taco stand. We're also in Houston, so we fed a fire in Houston. Uh, we have in downtown LA a pursuit of burglary suspects. Um, Central Al Alameda, 60 year old that was shot. So I don't really know what's happening right now. They're looking for the skid marks. Came off here, all the way down. If you notice, um, when we got here, he gave us great access. He even knew my name. So he knew who I was. He knew what we were doing here. We were kind of standing in the spot where he went off the freeway. So that's why he had us move. We'll be able to go back there and we can get a little closer in a second. I'm using what you call a street pod. I didn't grab my tripod, but look, I now have a tripod. And what do we know about the person? It's a fatality. We do know it, it's a confirmed fatality. We have to wear those vests to go up here, and I'm actually super nervous shaking. Yeah, man. So he didn't want to record how we got here. He was actually too scared to record. I do apologize for putting you in those situations. That, that was pretty dangerous what we did at the company. I didn't want to film it, you know, but we got, here. we got here on time. But this job is really hard job. This is not easy to be here first to get the news respect for those guys i mean you don't want to you don't want to become the story you know so maybe i'm still shaking from driving so fast coming here that's what it was but seeing this you also appreciate life more this can happen in an instant like this super sad part is the person when he woke up this morning never knew that he's gonna end up like this CHP just came here and gave me a, a heads up. It's not a confirmed fatality yet. So That's he said, good don't, he said don't, don't put that out there yet. That is why the fire department is going there, but they have to pronounce them or they might even transport. We're, we're, we're gonna find out right now. So as of yet, it's still news, but it's, it's iffy if it's a fatality. Well, we hope for the best that that person is still making it. To be honest, this is a little much for tonight already. I didn't expect the night to be like that. He got his press jacket on. I think it's gonna be a. Uh, I think it is gonna be a fatality. It doesn't look like they're transport. 
something gave them a reason why they thought maybe they had a pulse or something. A vehicle off the freeway into a tree caught fire. The victim did not extricate. One firefighter is still spraying water to make sure nothing ignites again. So Scott went back to the car, he started editing the footage and he's sending it out right away so the news is going to get the news. And it is uh, confirmed that the person passed away. It's really sad. They're looking for evidence. The person was in the back seat, so that's pretty weird. Maybe somebody left the scene where I don't really know yet. So he's editing the story right now. They're gonna put the flares up on the freeway. So they covered the body up and now they're waiting for the coroner's office. Even though I did not see the person, I, I don't know that person, but it still affects you because you know that's another human being. Another news outlet just got here. Person is just laying there by herself. Heading back to downtown Los Angeles. So we're back where we started. Well, my friends, that was it. What an intense night. Scott, I have to say, thank you very much. We're right here where I met him. Sometimes it feels like it was meant to be because I would have never experienced something like this. Like I said, I have mixed emotions. I didn't know it's going to be this intense, but uh, hopefully the viewers like it and hopefully your viewers like it and maybe we can do this another time in the future. Absolutely, absolutely. I can't wait to do it again. And like I said, man, absolutely incredible, professional. It's really hard work. Everything looks easy. It's not easy. This was hard work for him. Fast sending everything out. Otherwise, somebody else is first. Having that said, thank you so much. If you happen to like this video, give it a thumbs up. Push the notification bell. Subscribe to his channel. What was it again? Chasing Reality OS TV. You heard it. There we go. And maybe you want to subscribe to the GIV. And that's what that was it. We're signing off. Tschüssing.